Today is an exciting service for a lot of different reasons. It's an annual thing we do. It's our uh, letters from divine wisdom and our white stone ceremony. And it's really important for setting our intention for this year. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But to, to kick us off, we have Callie Carvajal here for us. And she's going to sing uh, um, one of my favorite songs. Come on up. Come on up. <laughs> uh, sing one of our favorite songs, uh, Faith Rivera's God Is. So I invite you to relax, get comfortable, and enjoy Cali. Callie Carvajal. <laughs> Thank you so much, honey. Woo. Whoa, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where I move and breathe and wherever I doubt, God is the faith in me. Yeah. When I speak, truth is. These are all great affirmations. I, 
setting of intentions for how we want to live, and most importantly, how we want to experience life. Because I've said it before, our positive thinking does not stop stuff from happening. And usually when I'm not on platform, I say another word, not stuff, but it starts with an S. <laughs> right? Your positive thinking and your affirmations cannot stop the stuff from happening in the world. It is going to keep on going. But what we can do and what this teaching enables us to do is to be the presence of the divine, that holy, solid presence of truth, of love, of peace, in the midst of all of it, right? And that's how we create a new heaven right here on earth, a new way of understanding, being, living, moving, having our being. So what we're going to do today is to set our intention for 2022. And how many people here or home online did this ritual with us last year. Right? Very great. Did you get your letter back in the mail? Mine took a little while to get to me because it went to my old address. So I filled it out not knowing I was going to move last year, but it did catch up to me. And I was astonished once again about how much of what I wrote was true. Now, the year was still 2021. We all lived through it. I need to say nothing more about 2021. But what I wrote about how I was going to be and how I was going to be in the world was so right on. And to, to see that moment of understanding that we know, we know deep within our souls, deep within our beings, what our next right step is. Right? But sometimes we doubt, we worry, we spend a lot of time <laughs> questioning everything. Right? I got a fortune cookie last night. JD and I ordered Chinese last night. Uh, and I got my fortune cookie and it said, your first instinct is the one you should always take. <laughs> right? It's like, oh, okay. So we know. We know within us. When we're meditated, when we're prayed up, when we're in line, what the next right thing to do is. How to protect ourselves and others. How to be in the world, but not of it. Hmm. So we're going to do a meditation. And what's going to happen? Did everyone get one of these packets when you walked in today? You should have been received one of these folders. If you don't have one, if you could raise your hand, Cleo is going to come around and Victoria is going to come around and make sure everybody has one. All right? So um, if you're at home, what you need is a pen, a piece of paper, and an envelope or two. And I'll explain that more in a minute. So just to get some of the logistics out of the way, so everybody at home, if you could grab a pen and a piece of paper, and if you don't have an envelope handy, you can get it later at home. We're providing envelopes here in the room, but I want everybody to be able to partake in this ritual. You'll also need something to write on is why you have a folder. We give you a folder so you have something solid to write on. At home, I hope you have a flat surface you can write on, or if you're in your car or listening to this later, uh, just stop pause the recording and grab what you need. So on your envelope, what we'd like you to do right now is write your name and your return address. So if you were like me, you don't know where you're going to be living next year, <laughs> but write the one you have now. Okay. We can always change it later. So your name and invite everybody in the band and, and our AV team to participate as well too. and your full return address. Okay. Um, you'll notice it doesn't have a return address on it. You can put your own return address, or you can put our return address. 
you could put 240 Page Street, San Francisco, California, 94102. That's 240 Page Street, San Francisco, California, 94102 is our address here. Then you can just put that away for the moment. When this service, this part of the ceremony is over, and I don't want anyone writing yet, just take your time here, we're going to write a letter from our divine self, from our highest self, from divine wisdom, and it's to us. So you can write your name at the top, dear Ken, my best friend Ken, my greatest champion Ken, but fill in your own name, of course, <laughs> not mine. Uh, and, uh, and, but address the letter to yourself from God, divine source, your highest self, the universe, however you want to put it. You'll sign it that way too. But right now, all you need is to have your name and a comma at the top. All right? All right, now I'm going to invite Callie to come forward. And what I want us to do is to take some time to meditate before we write. So Callie's going to sing this song, specifically chosen for this ceremony. And she's going to help us set. So allow the chair to hold you. You can keep the pen and the paper in your hand if you want or you can put it down, whichever is best for you. I'm going to hold on to it because of where I'm sitting. And also, I want to infuse the paper and the pen with this intention, too. So there's no right or wrong, just an opportunity to be. To know and to feel the truth of our being, to know that we are here for a divine purpose, to let go of the small, the limited, the petty, and open ourselves to the highest purpose of our lives, why we are here on this planet. And I invite you, as you are ready, to pick up the pen and to write this letter to yourself from this state of openness, possibility, wholeness, and write the letter that you will receive at the end of 2022. So this is a letter of what's going to happen in this year. It's not what you want to happen, but what has happened. You will receive this back from us at the end of this year. So this is where you're writing the letter. From the end of 2022. And all the amazing things you've accomplished. You can pick up your pen. Open to the possibility. 
You may get to the end of the letter and wonder how to sign it. Well, it's from your highest self, your divine self, from God, whatever works for you. You can sign it from both of you, for there is no separation. In truth, we're one with that energy, that creative force, the universe. Can't be separate from it. So I still see people writing. We're going to take a few more minutes. Carl will noodle something for us. Let everyone take this time. And if you've finished your letter, just hold on for a minute and just use this time as meditation while people are still writing. And when you are finished, and no rush on this, fold your letter and place it inside your envelope and seal it. For those of you at home, you want to place it inside the envelope, seal it, and then put it in another envelope and mail back to us at 240 Page Street. Again, that's 240 Page Street. San Francisco, California, 94102. And the reason for that is you want to be in this energy. We take these letters, the people here in the sanctuary will put them in a basket that's going to come around. And we pray on them here in the sanctuary, here in the building, all year long. The prayer chaplains pray over all the letters all year long. We infuse them four months with that divine consciousness, that higher holding of your intention for 2022. So again, if you're at home, please put this envelope inside of another envelope and mail it to us at 240 Page Street, San Francisco, California, 94102. For those of you in the sanctuary, I am peeling off the sticker and sealing my envelope. In a moment here, I'm going to ask the ushers to come around, but not yet, with a basket to put these in. Um, and we're going to have a, Cleo, we're going to have a simultaneous thing. We'll pick these up and we will then pass the white stones. All right? So let's pick up these envelopes first. If you're not finished, keep writing. We can take them later. It's all right. But I'm just going to do this. I'll start with, and I'm going to turn mine in to Tyler here. Okay. And uh, online, I know uh, Cleo's not there, but Sarita, if you could just make sure that address is in the chat for everybody there. I think it is, right, Cleo? 
the, our address for everybody online. Yeah, yeah, it's there. Great. And, um, and as you turn that in, we're going to stay in this space. So I'm going to ask Cle uh, excuse me, Callie to sing for us a little bit more as we transition. So also coming around now and in, in the baskets is a white stone, a plain blank white stone. And please take a pencil too because you won't be able to write on a white stone with your pen. <laughs> it won't work. So take a pencil too, one of our little golf pencils. And um, my ushers, when you're finished here in the sanctuary, let's make sure all of our staff and our band get white stones as well. At home, you sh if you're a regular member or regular attendee here, you will have received this in the mail. You can keep noodling for a second, Carl. That would be great. Thank you. And um, uh, so if you don't have one, it's all right. You can just use a single blank piece of paper to write this intention on for the moment till we can get one to you. Just let us know we need to mail another one to you. Or if you're new and would like one. We'll put one in the mail for you. So I'd like you to, to hold your white stone and just to let it be in your hands. Even if you're still writing your letter, your stone can be in the other hand as part of your experience. The, the myth and the story of it is that white stones were given to people in uh, Palestine back in the days that the Bible was written as an indication of freedom. When they were released from jail or prison, they were given a blank white stone. And it represents freedom, a clean slate, a new beginning. And here on our visual here in the sanctuary and at home, the one they've shown you, is a, a representation of the Wailing Wall in Jerusalem. So those are also white stones about new beginnings, the reconstruction of the temple, the reconstruction of our lives. And so this white stone is a touchstone. I have a, a line of them on my desk and in my office for all the years what I'm called to. And so we're going to do another little short meditation here as you hold your stone. If there is one or two words that indicate your intention for this year. We now know that those words, that word, that feeling, that knowing, is made clear to us right here and now. What is the one encapsulation of your intention of who you're going to be, the wholeness of you that is going to demonstrate in 2022? What is it that you can show, let out, 
be in this year that changes the whole world, that changes everyone you encounter. That's your word. That thing that you become that changes everything. Now, now in the silence, I invite you to let that word be revealed to you. You may be surprised by it and say, no, no, no. Let the word reveal itself to you. <laughs> Let the word reveal itself to you. And when you're ready, take your pencil and inscribe it. Notice the stone has many sides. So if you have more than one word, you can put it on different sides of the stone. For we are not any single fa facet, but multifaceted, magnificent expressions of divine life. Thank you, Callie. Thank you, everyone. If you haven't had a chance to turn in your letter yet, uh, when the baskets come around for our connection cards and the offering, you can put them in there. We'll sort them out later, not to worry. And it has been my honor to share this ritual with you. It's one of my favorite unity uh, intention setting uh, rituals we do that's just so powerful. So. And I'll share 
uh, the word that kept, came to me in quite by surprise, because I thought I had an agenda, <laughs> and the word was compassion. 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 So, thank you, God. <laughs> thank you all. <laughs>